swisser full of marijuana. I got a swisser full of marijuana. I swear to God, these niggas they don't want it. I swear to God, these niggas they don't want it. I got a swisser full of marijuana. I got a swisser full of marijuana. I swear to God, these niggas they don't want it. I swear to God, these niggas they don't want it. Yo, 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 yeah. yo, 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 we oh. live. Can they see me? Can they see a P? Who talking shit? I'm ribbing your mama. <laughs> no, I'm saying. What up, though, y'all? Share that shit. What up, please. L? Yeah. Lonnie Lyle, what it do? Yo, Harvey Skills just checking in. Who talking shit? You checked in? Mm -hmm. We here, we live. This episode 2 9. Big two nine season two, big two nine. Shout out Ray Rizzy. Shout out them hard. Hitters. Shout out Sack, Drama, Cool Love, Cool the Cool the Cool the Twenty Night Guard Block. Yeah, Mike Wilkes. If y'all just tuning in, man, share that shit. Share that shit. He too What's up, Ebony? Fine. How you doing? Share that shit, y'all. Please share it. Please, please, please share that shit for us. What's up, P? Oh, we got some shit to talk about today. Yeah. And we got a special guest, yo. We got Shabazz, yeah. the rap god, sliding through on us. He going to be performing at Vibe Lounge tonight. He got the song, Lap Dance, in the studio right now. Alabama, right? Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. We're going to put that down right now because that ain't need to be up like that. You hear me, though? For those who don't know, Bree is on maternity leave. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Dawg said, where the fat cute girl at? That was for you, who just asked that question. Bree's on maternity leave. Huh, what it do? You probably, oh, no. probably won't see her till like July sometime. So. Mm -hmm. She about to go bust it open for baby gossip. Yes, sir. We all ears. What y'all want to talk about, y'all? Lil Dirk fucked up. All the rappers fucking up, though, right now. Um. Black. Drake versus Draymond. <laughs> Illinois legalized that bag on y'all bitch ass. Legalize, 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 legalize. I'm going to Chicago this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get high. Do Chicago? Chicago don't got dispensaries yet, right? Huh? They don't got dispensaries yet. Ben had dispensaries. Oh, they Ben had dispensaries. Ben had right? dispensaries, not in Chicago. Oh, okay. But Springfield yeah, and yeah. Uh, out there by the outlet, all that shit. Where they had, had the strip clubs at, where the mm -hmm. laws is different. I figured mm -hmm. the city of Chicago wasn't on that shit. But they about to. Guala, Guala. Money problems streaming on all platforms. What it do? Close it out and come back to the video. Yeah, that's Lonnie shit. He got that motherfucking Metro PCS. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Niggas, you can definitely hear us, Ken Falk. Right. <sighs> Stepped up. Trip. We dry? Oh, what we dry? What you want us to do? You want us to dance, twerk? I popped this motherfucker. Yeah, we popped some just, dick in the camera. Wrong. That was a girl who said that? Yeah, yeah I popped this motherfucker. What the oil? I just got off the highway probably about 30 minutes ago. I just got back from Evansville, Indiana, a place that I probably will never, ever go to again. It, what's, what's up with Evansville? Man, Evansville, trash. Yeah. Evansville, trash. Trash bag. Little town. Little town, you feel me? One of them. All the niggas live in one spot. Oh. You know what I mean? One of them, bro. Like, woo. Man, what? Go what? Nah. Uh, <laughs> I don't want. No Cardis. No jewelry. No drip. None of that. No lace fronts. Even the ladies. I ain't even seen no nice looking ladies, bro. I was there for like 36 hours. In the nah, ghetto. The city ain't dry, baby. Because I got exotic. In the ghetto. The city dry spoil that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we dry too because they even had weed in Evansville, Indiana. That's fucked up. <laughs> Evansville, yeah, right? That's in Milwaukee. How many hours away is that? Uh, seven. That's what's up, like, though. It's like one Ohio. Ohio. It's like, and it's on the closer she to the. She said it's like Kankakee. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Who said that? Or uh, Dubuque. Oh. Or, yeah, like, it's one of them type of joints in the Midwest, one of these little towns in the Midwest. Man, what? That shit weak as a motherfucker. Yeah, Kankakee might be cracking a little harder than where I was just at. I'm telling you, where I was just at was bad, man. Like, bad. I ain't even going to get him a shout-out. You know, JB I came back from Atlanta, shouting out Atlanta, you know. My trips, I usually would give the city some love. Uh-uh. Not Evansville. Made the meal look good. You hear me, though? <laughs> shit. I don't know what. What baby Drew say? It ain't till I leave this town I start to miss this place? Yeah, when I got to that motherfucker, it made me appreciate Milwaukee. Real talk. Uh... The guy that killed his uh, wife and um, uh, the baby told on him. The baby went to the hospital mm. and told and the police went back. We got that story. Um, we got the dude who left his grandmama in the car at Potawatomi. We got that story. We got Fofty. Ain't that what they call him now? Fofty. We got 50. He trolling Rose. Thank Jimmy. you, Latrice. Thank you, Latrice. Appreciate that. Hey, y'all, I need to come get my shirt. Talk your shit. Come get your shit. Uh, mm, Doc talks that shit too. Pablo Skywalker shoots up the mall in uh, uh Vegas. In Vegas, ain't, well, ain't he from Detroit? Mm -hmm. If I don't well, like that nigga, I'm, I'm gonna flex, flex on, on him. him. Okay, yeah. That shit on these bitches make a mess on him. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I like that song. Me too. Shout out Lil G checking in. Shout out Lil Detroit. G. Yeah. He was one of the early Detroit cats, along right. with like. Uh, so what y'all want to talk about right now? If y'all checking in, talk to me. Talk to me. Talking about I'm dry, you dry. Fuck wrong with you. Share that shit too, by the way. Right. We need our extra guests. Mm, what's happening? Y'all, y'all being funny as a motherfucker. You funny looking sons of bitches. <laughs> you dis, you dis little fool ass bitch made trick. No, just, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Ain't that, uh, what you know? I mean, uh, uh, Denzel went crazy, didn't he? I just Y'all talking about dirt. Dirk fucked up, but you know Dirk got a bag, 
Somebody take that case for him. Yeah, we can talk about Lil Durk. So Lil Durk shot somebody in Atlanta. He Call popped a nigga? Yeah, he popped a nigga at the Varsity Restaurant in Atlanta. If you ever been to Dude the A. Dude, on it. Yeah, I'm assuming. I don't know if he told because the nigga died. He died? Yeah, he died. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he told. Oh, somehow, he ain't the one told. Yeah, somehow or way or another, they was able to trace the gun back to Dirk. And Dirk's in a whole bunch of shit. I thought this happened in Chicago when I first seen the story, but it happened in Atlanta. Niggas so, get down in Atlanta. Yeah. From other cities. <laughs> Stupid. He trying to do what he did in Chicago. Exactly. You know, mm. I, my thing with these rappers right now, I guess we in the cloud I mean, chasing era, and I guess you got to squeeze the pistol, you got to punch the nigga, all that. I came from the era where niggas wasn't really doing that. Like, she said, you got a deal and you the million dollar nigga, you don't have to lift a finger or said, do no, nothing he's still on alive. gangster shit. Oh, he's the still dude's alive? alive? Mm-hmm. They said it was self defense. Skills, the nigga didn't die. He killing niggas like Bree. No, I don't know for real, for real. Free dirt. She said, I don't know. Yeah, self defense. I'm, I'm no, she talking about the self defense. Yeah, part. that's what I'm saying. I don't think so, bro. For what but I they read. saying the nigga didn't charge. That's why they charged him with attempted murder and not murder. Okay, yeah, he did get a charge with attempted murder oh. and a, and a, and a felon with firearm, right? FBG Duck and Wooski laughing at these boys. Was they beefing with them? Mm-hmm. Cause them niggas are GDs and them niggas VDs, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Huh? Oh, he was taken to the hospital with serious conditions and since recovered. I didn't finish. He definitely snitched on him. Damn, I was just at the varsity. The ops laughing, and hey, that's crazy. Dawn said the ops laughing. Why? Cause he locked up. Damn, they locked. They laughing cause niggas got tricked off the streets. Yo. Yo, you outside? Yeah, I hit the spot right here. Yeah. That's our guess. All right, my people coming to the yeah, side door. Yeah, that's the door main right war in Chicago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the main war in Chicago right now. Rest in peace, Meaty. Hot for life found that bitch. Oh, yeah, they killed B.O.S. Meaty, man. Rest in peace, Meaty. Rest in peace to Meaty. Meaty changed his life. Got a job and shit. Uh, Damn. His, Drake trolling the fuck out the Warriors. He just liked Aisha Curry. Pitcher. Yeah, he gonna, he gonna fuck. I remember I told you that. I said that a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Drake. Didn't I tell you he's gonna fuck though? Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I, I I think that's sad, though, that he had to get locked up, man. Dirk's supposed to have niggas that'll bust that motherfucker. Fuck, I don't around. understand that shit. But right. I guess him and Dirk got into a heated argument. He popped the nigga, so yeah, the nigga went and told the police what happened. Man, mm-hmm. Dirk's supposed to have somebody else pop him. At, certain, at, certain, uh, at a certain point in your, your career, you got to be like, damn, I'm too important. I'm too precious to this situation. It's, it's too many people eating off this plate. I I can't go. Dirk saying that he going to bail out. And, be- um, he going he gonna to beat it. Yeah, he going to bail out and go back. He'll be back on tour this week, he said, after he posts bail, he's going back on tour. I guess he was on tour. Oh, okay. That's why he said that he heard it might be one of FBG people, mm, though, or affiliated. See, that might make sense. That might make sense. Thanks for saying that. See, because that not at all makes sense. I can't see him just uh, getting into it with a nigga at the club uh, in Atlanta. Yeah, just... You know what I mean? But if it was some personal drama, you know what I mean? Because it's a lot of Chicago niggas in the A right oh, now. That shit personal. Yeah, so. That shit personal. Motherfuckers be blocks away smoking each other. I fuck with Dirk. King Von is direct bloodline of the, of the BD, BD creators. creators. Oh, okay. That nigga don't have no bail. Yeah, after he see the judge, they saying that yeah, they yeah, don't let yeah. him go. Uh, he can come now, shit. Um... Uh, should we, uh, yeah, 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 nope, he, he, he fucked up right now, that nigga don't have no bail, what's going on boss man, uh, 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 yeah, ain't no bail, I'm saying after he, (laughs) they saying after his initial appearance, he should be released, is what they saying, oh yeah, yeah, he just gotta see the judge or whatever, oh, okay, (laughs) Shout out Trap City ATL checking in. Trap City Atlanta, what it do? You probably know something about this Barbara, dark situation. Barbara, what's the word? Huh? I said Trap probably know more about right. this Right, Trap Atlanta City, situation. what's popping down there in Atlanta, man? Y'all should know something about the little Dirk situation. 
But in the meantime, we got to bring our guest on. Yes, sir. He go by the name of Chavez, right? Mm-hmm. My, like, Chavez. Chavez. Uh-huh. Same shit. Chavez. <laughs> hey, uh, he is known as Mr. Lap Dance in the studio. You know what I mean? And right now, the, the song's going crazy in the clubs, and they can't keep their ass cheeks to themselves. So without further ado, we're going to bring my man on and let him talk his shit. Me Scale's going to interview him, and we're going to keep this show rolling. For sure. What it do, boss man? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? What's good? You got it? You got it, bro. Everything good? What's up? Yeah, all right, all right. My boy. <laughs> Chicago detectives. What's good? Say. What's good? What's going on, boss man? Oh, um, man, just cooling and cooling, man. I like it here, man. Oh, that's what's up. You yeah. like it in Milwaukee? Yeah. Yeah. Where you from? Montgomery, Alabama. Montgomery, Montgomery Alabama. Yeah, Montgomery, Alabama, man. Gump, huh? Yeah, the yeah, gump. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, had some, I had some homies. Went, Alabama. Yeah, I, yeah, I had some homies Alabama. went to Tuskegee down there. Yeah. You know, so we yeah, used to, we th- we used to be through the gump a little Straight bit. Up. Yeah. Right. What the, uh, we'll get the people, uh, you know, what, the, uh, what you got going on. Introduce yourself. What um, brings you to Milwaukee? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, tonight, man, my partner Maintain got me coming here to Bob uh, Lounge. Yeah. And I'm gonna actually do a show and perform a couple of new songs that I got along with Lap Dance in the studio. And turn up for the city, you get what I'm saying? For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, vibe, Club Vibe, man. Y'all make sure y'all pull up the Club Vibe tonight on uh, Tatonia and Clark on the yes, corner. Mm-hmm. Y'all make definitely. sure y'all pull up. It's gonna be definitely a movie up in that motherfucker. Shout out Maintain. You know twerk. Yeah. Shout out Maintain. What up, Rizzy? You see this episode 2-9. Yeah. Rizzy, what it do? George, what it do? Hey, um, so uh, if they wanted to, did they, you already give me your social handles? My social media? Yeah. Oh, shoot, man. My social media, my uh, Instagram is rapguy334. Yeah. And my Twitter is I am rapguy. And my Snapchat is OldSharvez. Okay. For sure. Right. Y'all, y'all, y'all search that. So what? how did you get the record? Out like that? Are you not? Are you? Do you? Are you signed to a major? Nah, no, not yet. Independent. Yeah, independent. That's what's up. Yeah, damn, that's what's up. That's okay, <laughs> that's money. Right. You just need their exposure. Right. That's it. So Push what? Me. What other markets besides like this market did you got on deck already? Um, as in music wise, yeah, like where, where, where they out. pushing, where the record is 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 trending like it's trending here. Uh, Atlanta, okay. Birmingham. It's a whole bunch of places that I got to get to for real, for okay, real. Yeah. And I'm just looking at the analytics too, like Apple Music mm-hmm. and everywhere that's playing it for real, for real. You get what I'm yeah. saying? And people that sending me videos and all that. And twerk videos so, help. Yeah. And twerk videos help. All it's my, a million of them. All my head. artists <laughs> watching this. All my artists watching the show right now. Did you hear what this independent artist just said? Independent He's doing crime. homework. He's checking analytics. He's for not real. popping bottles and, and trapping and shit. He's checking analytics, my for nigga. Real. That's what matters. He going to the market where they playing his record at. Right. It's real easy. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I fuck with you on that. Because we be encouraging a lot of cats. Don't wait on a major. Don't wait on a bag. You can check that shit yourself and go do it. You know what I mean? On your own. So I salute you for doing that, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. So what the rap scene like in uh, Alabama right now? It's, it's on fire for real, for real. It's a, yeah. lot of, it's a lot of independent artists down there that's on the grind that's actually doing their thing for real, for real. Yeah, because I know a couple. I just can't remember their name off top because I follow them on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But it's a couple niggas out in there that's really popping too. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's definitely, you know, just like everybody else, just waiting to get that that, that over the hump. You know what I mean? Yep. Right. That's how it is, for real, for real. Because, you know, like Alabama is like, it's a bunch of artists that come from Alabama that go to Atlanta to get on. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Like everywhere else. So, yeah. you know, it really ain't the Alabama feel. You know what I mean? So, what's up with the video? We we searching. Oh, man. Shoot. Yeah. The we video. Gonna I show. We're going to show you some love. <laughs> Look, shoot, man. I've been I've been holding it down and actually getting everything together so I can shoot a nice all-star video. I just didn't want to put just anything to it. You get what I'm saying? Because it ain't just no any kind of song. So, I wanted to take my time with it and actually put out a nice, decent video. I want to get a million view video on just no, you know, so I put a video out for lap dance. You yeah, get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you know that one look thing. I want people to keep looking at it. You know what I'm saying? All star video. That's it. Yeah. I read an article today that said Apple is going to discontinue iTunes. Really? Mm, yikes. Mm. I would. You heard that? Man, there's been so much going on, like with that. Streaming and, and shit and all they that. They ain't gonna yeah. miss it. It's, it's thousands of outlets. Yeah, right. yeah. For people and people so thirsty for music right now, they gonna right. find a way to get it. it yeah. It's almost like we back in the underground era where you gotta dig for the shit that right. you really want. You know what I'm saying? So uh, who you cater to? Trap ladies? 
Uh, oh, I really don't. I really don't subject myself to really just one. You do anything? Music. You jump yeah. on something with Lil Nas X, right? You know okay, what I'm saying? I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. For real, for real. That's 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 the uh, that's the formula of being an artist though. Right now, you got to be open. You just can't be, you know, in your own lane no more. Right. You got to. Shit, you got to sing. Shit, you, you started singing. <laughs> hey, hey, I got a couple of them. Now. Shit, I'm telling you, I got, got a couple sing. of them. Now. Hey, for sing, real, you got shit. to switch it up. For real, you got to sing for that. On everything. Well, you know this this city right here you know. is is our our ladies support twerk music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the first time I heard your song, I was at courtside, I think, <laughs> mm -hmm. and maintained. You know what I mean? Introduced it. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as that <laughs> motherfucker dropped, the ladies knew it. A lot of us niggas was standing around like, what the fuck is this? But the ladies, yeah. what? They was twerking. I'm talking about sweating. <laughs> all that. I'm like, who is this lap dance in the studio? Shit, what is this? Because I thought it was some niggas from here at first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then Maintain was like, no, that's my homie from Alabama. Woo, woo, woo. He doing woo, woo. I'm like, oh, okay. Because right. Maintain be up on niggas before they really. He definitely I will do. give him credit on that. He be on artists way before they get to the mainstream. You know that's what I mean? Like, he was yeah. sending me Sada Baby videos three years ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He so definitely be on it. He be on it. So and he, he like he, he but he he followed the trend of what the ladies, ladies on anyway. Like, you know? Right. So, you know, he he definitely be knowing what the fuck they on. Gotta cater to the ladies in the club, man, for right. real, for real. Shit, that's what you going there for. Right. For real, for real. Well, you got some views on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> for hey, real. Uh, what's up, uh, with the uh with the album or or what you working on right now? Uh right now I'm just basically pushing, like pushing singles. out singles yeah. and well. Single after single, whatever grab you get, what I'm saying. I was putting out mixtapes. I got mixtapes on uh, iTunes and all that, like that, Spotify and Spinrilla. You get what I'm saying. I got a lot of music out there that people can go do their homework on. You get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And but right now, I'm just basically pushing singles for real, for real, and actually finna start back getting them videos in rotation type shit. For type real, shit. for real. So Are, what? Uh, so what if? Uh, uh, what the fuck was I about to say? As a bitch. <laughs> uh, are they are they playing the, the record locally? Oh, oh man, locally they tearing it up, man. It's that's all on both no, radio I'm stations. Okay. You feel yeah. me? Uh, all around the tri county area, okay. other states, the college. Cause that's where I really came from, for real, for real, Alabama State. Okay. So shoot, that's where a lot of my strains and views and all that stuff come from. My college people, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So uh, my question was gonna be, how long you been pushing this single? Cause you know, I know it take a minute for a single to break, you know, catch <coughs> legs. How long you been pushing this one? Cause some of them just catch wind. <coughs> Man, I'm gonna be honest. That song actually pushed itself. Uh -huh. Like I was in, I, I was, I ain't really give up on rapping, but I slowed down on it. Mm -hmm. So shoot, once I slowed down on, it, I prayed about it and seeing what I really wanted to do with this for real, for real, and out of, out of like out of nowhere, like this song just blew up. I wasn't even pushing this song. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had gave it to a few DJs and a few females. Then next thing you know, it just started going yeah. crazy. So how long? When, how, uh, when did you release the song? I released the song 2017. And when I released Two in 2017, mm -hmm. shoot, it put it automatically just <coughs> became something like late 2018. So push them singles, y'all. For yeah, real, push, push them, them singles, singles, please. Push, push them, them singles. singles. Push yeah. them singles. See, because I'm like, okay, Damn, if two you, years. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And this and and it's touching Milwaukee yeah. now. So shit, yep. that motherfucker doing what it need to do. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? And that's coming from Alabama. So two years, shit. Just imagine. If, if you want to get that motherfucker worldwide, it might take three. Right. You know what I mean? So you just got to keep going with that single. If they fucking with it, they fucking with it. Right, because I got a video on my phone. I think some, uh, I think it, I think it's some Africans dancing to it. Pushing yeah. that for two years. <laughs> he pushing us, he been pushing us <laughs> off for two yeah. years without a video yeah. for yeah. it. Yeah. Real exactly. talk. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, that's a blessing, blessing nigga, yeah. for that motherfucker to be out here and, and, and people. You getting booked for shows in Milwaukee, right. Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's big. Right, you know right, right. right. So salute to you for that. The single, yeah. man. They, what, they get the motherfucking uh, bus rap, uh, uh, 2,000 T-shirts, 10,000 CDs, giveaway. That motherfucker don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> for real. For real, dog. They be motherfucking 20, 20 town tour. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, damn, ain't shit changed. But you got to push them singles, man. You got right. to push them singles. My blood ain't as big as yours, shoot. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't even smoke swishers. No, oh, yeah, this ain't like this that. white owl. I, I'm not so. making exceptions. <laughs> All right. <coughs> 
Mm, y'all got some good gas up here. <laughs> like this. <laughs> For uh, real. Yeah, so uh how you how you end up hooking up with this nigga maintain? Maintain, somebody hit me up on Instagram like two months ago. So when they hit me up on Instagram, you get what I'm saying? We were chopping it up about coming up here and performing and stuff like that. And then next thing you know, when they actually got serious about it, Maintain was the one that actually wrote me. And yeah. we chopped it up and you get what I'm saying? Got it in motion and shit. I'm here today, you feel me? And Maintain was on that ass two months ago. So right. Yeah. Tish, what it do? That's what's up. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. So being a, being an up and coming artist right now, and you seeing motherfuckers get to where you trying to get mm-hmm. and throw their shit away in situations like the little Dirk situation, or maybe not throw it away, but you can't put yourself in that situation, right? right? But the little Dirk situation or the Kodak Black situation, how you feel about artists doing shit like that? I mean, for real, for real, I don't know what it's done for. I don't know if it's done for the cloud or to get people to show sympathy or their music or to get plays or streams or anything like that. But I don't know, man. I don't, I don't like, like, it's like those are young guys. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm 29 years old, so I'm, tr- I'm pretty much trying to stay out of getting in trouble. Yeah. You feel me? And you have correct business going on yeah. instead of just doing some, you feel me? I hear crashing out and stuff like that for social yeah. media. I don't know. Jig that. Right. Straight up, man. But um, on some real shit, they fuck with your music though. They fucking with that motherfucking uh, lap dance yeah. in the studio. I don't, I don't know who started it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know I don't who broke it. I don't know, I don't know who <laughs> broke it. They like that motherfucker. But niggas in the studio probably get lap dances right now <laughs> because of it, you know. Right. It intrigued me off the title. I'm a rapper. I be in the studio. Yeah. So a nigga made lap dance in the studio right now. That got my attention. Out of the day. Like, <laughs> right. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. about. That's what I was basically trying to do with the song, for real, for real. I, I just came and said a whole bunch of shit that, like, men will want to say to females <coughs> and shit that females will want to hear in the dance song. You get what I'm saying? Like, you just put it in motion. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, so tonight, y'all, he going to be at Vibe Lounge. Vibe tonight Lounge. at Vibe Lounge. Come out, turn up, bust a butt cheek. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shout out, man. Doug. <laughs> yeah, y'all, uh, y'all make sure y'all pull up, though. It's gonna Great. be nice. It's gonna be nice because they uh y'all giving away a thousand dollars tonight. Yeah, yes, sir. cash prize to the to the to the to the to the out of control cheeks. Right. The out of control cheeks in that bitch. The extra buttery yams. Y'all know how to come. <laughs> you hear me? Y'all know how to come. So that's what y'all be on. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, that's what we be yeah. on. Yeah. It's like, nigga, nigga, that. Yeah, we gonna have to get smoking gossip after hours cracking or something. Right. Right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Baby oil and shit everywhere. Yeah. Baby oil and them blue light. <laughs> Set the shit right. Right. Real talk. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, well, shit, we ain't going to hold you, bro. We appreciate you coming through. Yes, Give the people your uh, social media handles one more time. more time before you check up out of here. All good. My Instagram is rapgod334. My Twitter is I'm Rap God. My, what it was, my Snapchat is OSharbiz. I let me. Oh. I accept. I follow back. All that. Something else <laughs> I, we forgot to do that we, that we do every interview, too, mm-hmm. is who's your influences? Yeah. My influence is anybody that's basically accomplishing anything with this music to actually be a part of the success that they have. You get what I'm saying? Great so, answer. Right. For yeah. real, for real. So Good answer. Top three best rappers. Top three best rappers. I can say from off the dome, Lil Wayne. Okay. Ah. Uh, I want to say Drake. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we're really killing the game, and then just a monster with it for real, for real. It's really two of them. Future. Yeah. And I like Kodak for real, for real. Okay. okay for sure. I can't lie. Fuck with Kodak. I can't lie. <laughs> I keep telling you things about Kodak. They don't Kodak like hard, man. I don't know why they sleep on him like that. That man signed <laughs> yeah, for a reason. Clone hey, away, you bro. Feel me. Somebody and, asked, uh, do you fuck with Selma? Oh, yeah, I fuck with Selma. Yeah. Shout out Selma. Yeah, hey, yeah. Shout out Selma, man. Shit, they're right around the corner from Montgomery. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. That's the other thing, too, before we let you go. that Them places got a lot of history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they got yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. Our, who we are in America. Right. Made in them Down places there. where, you, you know what I mean, where y'all stomping at. So. Right. Shout out to Alabama, man. Shout that out that to person Alabama. just reminded me that of that with the Selma thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
And you're right, they walked from Selma to Montgomery and, you know what I'm saying, Mobile and all that. So, yeah, that's what's up. Did this nigga just put the baby in that category? Man, Tang, you tripping. (laughs) I guess he's saying currently. Mm -hmm. Man, he's still not the greatest. Currently. The baby fire now. He fire, but he ain't that nigga, nigga. I think he's just saying killing shit right now. Yeah. He's smooth. His demeanor 100, 100 but he lost. But you lost me with Kodak. No, Kodak the truth, yeah, I'm y'all. Telling bullshit. Y'all, Kodak got he a lot. lost with Kodak. Our, they they our, hate Kodak. Our, our show got a thing with Kodak. I don't. Know what I mean, now he don't though. But our our viewers and our our uh, other co-hosts that ain't here right now because she and he don't fuck with Kodak yeah. either. I went to the concert. Tell hmm. me you fuck with him. I actually met this man in person. That's why I actually, you okay. feel me, and fuck with him like that because he did a show down there uh, and I did an open mic and I ended up winning it. So, okay. shit, I was able to perform in front of him. So, I actually met him before. Yeah. He was real deal, like 100, 1,000, mm-hmm. you feel mm-hmm. me? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kodak. Free Kodak. Kodak. Real talk. Free Kodak. We should have did the background free Kodak. We going to do the background free Kodak Monday. <laughs> Bullshit ain't nothing. <laughs> All right, but we free appreciate Kodak. you coming through. Nah, my appreciate for sure. y'all. Like we said, my man is at five tonight. With you, bro. Yes, sir. Let him maintain. Work. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Give us a second, y'all, while we snap. Oops, snap this pick right quick. Right. I got it. Wait that again. That came out. You need that light, though. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be fucking with your pose. Give me one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Appreciate y'all. 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 Uh, Somebody get the house phone. Yeah, we about, uh, we about to jump back off into our shit. Drake versus Draymond Green. Now, can you believe the Warriors lost? Yes. I knew they was. I bet money that they did. You did? Yes. Oh, you back gambling. I only bet on that game. And I won it last night, $20. I was proud of it because, I, you know, I, I said I quit gambling. That $20 just geeked me out. Yeah, Tamika, I thought he had a video for the song. You know what I'm saying? So we was going to give y'all a piece of it, but yeah, it was just like it was just like a cover of the song. I mean, you know, a cover of the CD with the song playing, and I ain't, we ain't want to play that, so, you know. It's cool. It's a twerk song. It's a twerk song. Yeah, it's a twerk record. Milwaukee love that mm-hmm. shit. You know, it's that, yeah, it's that shit that Milwaukee, you know. Milwaukee love that yeah, shit. twerking. What do you say? Answer that. Answer what? Oh, he's talking about the house phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny crazy. But yeah, man, Draymond versus Drake. The Golden State Warriors versus Drake. Because the clip I caught, he was talking cash shit to Steph Curry, too. You know what I'm saying? So, I just couldn't believe. I'm honest. I'm going to be honest. I couldn't believe the Warriors lost last night. I knew funny. they was going to lose. Doc was probably sick. That ah! kind of fucked me up, too, yesterday. I was like, I, what is going I on? I said... Man, they better pray KD come back. They do not want to see that boy take off. He didn't even take no. off. No, he, he got killed by the other people. Just imagine when he take off. Oh, my God. Yeah, everybody else did. Got to do it for the horse. Horios? Is that Horios? Yeah, Horios. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we going to talk about now? Look, Tamika said she was too pissed. I, I was what? happy they lost. Yo, nah, man. Drake a bitch. Man, shit called me. And Drake, I'm going to keep it real, bro. Drake, Drake been snapping. I, I can talk that shit, but Drake, been, even when he killed us, he killed us, bro. Yeah, he killed us. He killed us when he wore that motherfucking birdie. Uh, oh, yeah, yesterday oh, he had on Curry Daddy and then he, Raptors man, jersey. Man, he had on that nigga yeah, Daddy jersey. jersey. His daddy signed used to play it. for the Raptors. He had it signed. signed. He had the nigga signature on the back of that motherfucker. Adele Curry. When he played for the Raptors. Fucked him up. Killed him. If KD don't come back, they in trouble. No bullshit. If, <laughs> straight up. They can't see them seven games. Damn. That's fucked up. Man, listen. It's a new day. Motherfuckers tired of the same old recipe. And they going to try to ball for that motherfucker. And Kawhi still going to hit it after this. Yeah. He going home. 
Uh, it's his first year there. Uh, did y'all hear about the uh? Nah, I ain't gonna talk about that right now. What about Illinois? Legalizing weed. They legalized the bag. You can go to Chicago and smoke and smoke yeah. weed in public. Yeah, they pass recreational marijuana. Who wanna Who wanna Illinois. drive to the shop? We got to pull over right by the uh, by Gertie Mills and throw the weed out. <laughs> Cause if you get caught trying taking the past state line, your ass going down. Man. I'm a DM Diddy like, hey fam, I need you at the next game. That's funny. Him and Pusha T should go sit next to E40. See if Drake feel comfortable then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for real. That's true. Know? They legalize marijuana in that's Illinois. That's true, T Rip. You can Google it. Yeah, they legalize uh, marijuana, man. Recreational. You don't have to have a card. No. Nah. Fuck the game up. No, Milwaukee no, ain't did it yet. Did it. And they fighting our governor about it right now. They giving him a whole bunch of shit about it right now. Man, what? I'm just the telling The Republicans you. in Wisconsin don't want it. We're going to have to push smoking gossip back because I'm moving to motherfucking Chicago. <laughs> We're going to have to push this motherfucker back to about nine. I'm going to need a couple more hours to get here. What, the state? <clears throat> I think it's Democratic right now. Them niggas ain't finna... No more drivers than they usually do. I don't know what that means, but they stop more than more drivers. I don't know. Nah. They sweating our governor about legalizing the shit. Sweating right. the fuck out of us. Yeah. On what? Hell yeah. He ran his campaign. Oh, yeah. That. You know what I mean? That's yeah, they that. did. Them motherfuckers talking about it, doing all type of shit. We ain't killed nobody. Like a hog, got motherfuckers running around turning purple. Yeah. Liver dying like a motherfucker. They get, getting behind the wheel, killing motherfuckers off that shit. Man, motherfucker right. smokes weed. Ain't no driving. Bro, I'm too high to drive. Oh, uh, what? You pussy ass nigga, man. Right, pull over. Ain't nobody gonna say, man, I smacked that motherfucker. I was so high. Never. Nah. It ain't happening. Just said, with all the CEOs here pushing powder, I'm just saying. <laughs> mm -mm. It's weird, man. We need to do something. Right, let's make a petition. <laughs> I thought we did that already. Make another one. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. That's how it even got on the. Man, that's all I'm saying, Crown. Senate floor or whatever for them to vote on. Billion dollar industry and they don't want to make a dollar off of yeah, it. Yeah, it's crazy because they rather make money off the prison system. See, I think Illinois is, is tapping in about Man, the prison listen, shit. Trump about to legalize that shit all throughout the United States so he can get his motherfucking wall money off that shit. And they so stupid that they don't want to get their extra money before all that shit happen. He gonna do nothing but tax them for it. All this revenue that y'all building. Come on, man. Um... What was that? Uh, Oregon? Oregon had like a million pounds. They they had so much weed that they had to destroy it. They yeah. burning the shit up. Tons and shit. Tons of weed. Like what? They better not be burning. No gas. <laughs> I doubt it. They burning that shit up. I'm pretty sure they saying no. They make the pounds right there. Get them back. You can sell them. <laughs> Man, I just don't understand it. That shit. Uh, that makes us. See when it you, just keeps us in the dark. When you me, legalize holding it, us back. That means you tapping in on convictions. Like you, you giving up. Like okay, that weed conviction thing for point eight or whatever. We we ain't on that shit no more. Throw that shit out the hey. window. But that's why they don't want to legalize it because they make so much, much money, money off the convictions for them petty exactly. ass weed. You know what I'm saying? They taking niggas CCWs. Yeah. You know, a lot of these yeah. niggas got can't yeah. get their CCWs because they got caught with one bag of yeah. weed. You know what I'm saying? Twice. That's all it takes. One bag of weed twice. You can't get no CCWs. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that too. Man, but for weed. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody really sitting in that motherfucker. That, yeah, that long. 
for, for no, you know what I mean? The convictions is light. That's why they willing to be, that's why most states is like, fuck it, throw that shit out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why these niggas claim for drought season, because they burning that shit up on crowd. <laughs> oh, my life. <clears throat> but that's crazy, though. Like, yeah, I feel you. No, I mean, that the state of Wisconsin is a prison system in this fact. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want to let that go. The old-timey way of doing shit. They don't, don't want to shit. accept the fact, fact. that yeah. they can make more money off this than they can locking niggas up. We really enjoy locking niggas up. Yeah, yeah. We don't really enjoy seeing y'all enjoy yourself and not and live freely, because that's While like we make money off of that too, though. You can drink in public. They ain't written. They ain't re- They would rather build new prisons than legalize weed. Facts. Just standing outside. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah! But if you drinking in front of your house, you can't. No, you can drink on your in your property. You can't if you on the sidewalk. Now that's public intoxication. Right. But you can go downstairs down downtown on Water Street, walk up and down the street all day with drinks. So on the fuck can. Come on now. Yeah, I mean it's it, like I said. This place zoning. makes money off of convictions. They would rather this build state, new whole bank yeah. rolls. Arizona of make you choose between medical license or CCW. <laughs> Fucked up. Man, what? What a medical weed card or CCW? Yeah. Oh, you can't have both. Hmm. That's interesting too. So, so you can, so you can drink alcohol and own a gun, which makes you un- incoherent. But you can't smoke weed and own a gun that makes you relaxed and calm. Right? Yeah. I don't understand that. That's what the CBD is supposed to is, is the purpose is a CBD, correct? Shout out to Doc, for sure. We always shouting out oh, Doc. Right. Let's be honest. Now, we left in the 70s. This is some new age trees. <laughs> <laughs> Skill, she right. Mm. She is right about that. This laboratory shit. It's great. Mm. Cigarette smoke is public intoxication. Facts. Facts. I agree with that. Daniel. Daniel. What up, dope? Because of the money that's made off of alcohol. Tyra, what it do? I need it. What it do? No, this is a beer state, though. This is a beer state. So you got to look at it. You look at places like Denver, California, Oregon. They grow marijuana. That's one of their resources. Wisconsin ain't really growing no marijuana, but they growing beer and barley and shit to make beer. So they like, yeah, oh yeah, we with the legalization of alcohol. Then we gonna make plenty of money off of that. They growing weed too. They yeah, they growing C- weed. They, yeah, they growing CBD. Weed. They growing CBD. They finna start putting that in Miller. It's, 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 like it's CBD it. farms in Sussex. Yeah, the beer company. Everybody wants in mm-hmm. on that industry. That's where the money at. Mm-hmm. It's just like the alcohol. People, when you go to enjoy yourself, you go to get your fucking, your drugs, your alcohol. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't your even. Your cigarette, remember, every, every motherfucker in the liquor store, if you don't smoke cigarettes, if they do, they buy some mm-hmm. when they yep. when they, when they buy any liquor. Facts. Even in bars. And I mean, that's what's going to happen I when they legalize marijuana. In bars. When I used to go to bars with my dad and shit, and my family owned bars and shit when I was a kid, it was the jukebox and the cigarette machine. Remember, you put the dollars in there, pull a the thing, and your cigarettes fall out. You know what I mean? That go hand in hand with the alcohol. You see what I'm saying? Alcohol. We, Remember, I said alcohol, tobacco, firearms. Hey. Takes care of America. Those three Hell letters, yeah. those three industries, that's why I got its own task force. When you do something bogus with the liquor, it ain't the police. Yeah. The ATF is, hey, yeah. man, you fucking with our shit now. Yeah. This some other shit. Just like the DEA was for cocaine. You see what I'm saying? That's a whole industry just for that. Cause it's really our product. This cocaine you niggas selling, this our shit for real. We just letting you. They gonna sell. put the weed under the ATF. It's gonna be the ATFW. On the real, yeah, for real. Yeah. Because it's, it's it's becoming that large. You see what I'm saying? When you only had three, four states doing it, California. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was cool. Now you got 15 states doing it. Now you kind of like, oh shit. You see what I'm saying? Bro, they That's already cool. doing it, bro. We got the same cultivated skills as them motherfuckers in Michigan, bro. I. I, it's I be, enough farms here. They said that's why Wisconsin is one of the target places. 
because of the farmland. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Iowa and Wisconsin. But they said they said what you call it get winters like here, Oregon. Yeah, man. But look, bro, they growing weed up there. They all they farms. Canada is grows in weed. There. Canada got farms. In Detroit, in, in Michigan, Michigan yeah. all that shit is growing on up there. And they got the Michigan. same weather we got. Yeah, yeah. So. nigga, you can grow weed, in motherfucking mm -hmm. Alaska, if mm -hmm. you know what the fuck you doing. You don't need no sun. Shit, ain't nobody growing no weed. That's for Mexicans. Mexicans yeah. We ain't smoking that Jamaican ass shit. Yeah, that dirt. We want, we want that shit. To, to, Most of the shit we smoking is is right. curated in the dark. You get that what I'm shit. saying? With water and blah, 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 that type of the bubbles the and shit. Can't wait. Yeah, well, hydroponic about, systems, and that's summer. usually in the dark. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And can't carry concealed if you got medical marijuana license, right? Okay. I figured that. No. Don't say ATFM. ATFM. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. still gonna call it the ATFWs. <laughs> We gonna call them the ATF L's. I, I remember I was called tobacco firearms and loud. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to this to this lawyer cat that's in our family, an OG, and he was putting me onto that probably about ten years ago. Like, yo, you didn't notice they got their own task force for that shit? Like, oh shit, yeah, you're right. Like, yeah, nigga, that's big business. Like, even when you look at the Bush family, the Bush family got all their money from bootlegging. And then when it became legal, they was the first one of the first people to cash in on the shit. And 100 years later, they're still in business. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that's why they're one of the most powerful families in America. Off of bootlegging liquor. The and the Kennedys. Yeah, they started with bootlegging too. That's what I'm saying. That's another reason why they rivaled each other. That was the drugs. Yeah, that was the drugs. That was cocaine back then. You get what I'm saying? That was weed back then. Then they legalized it. I knew yeah, motherfuckers yeah, growing in their house yeah. here, bro. <laughs> huh? He said, my, my dude growing in this house in AZ. I said, I know niggas growing in their house here. Yeah, yeah. Shit, they had the one white dude on the news in, outside Kenosha. He had trees in his basement. Man, the white dude on the south side had all them plants. Plants in, that, in his in basement, store too. Front. Yeah, in that storefront, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it can be done. Like you said, that shit can be grown anywhere, man. You know what I mean? I just don't know. Mm -hmm. if, I, just, I just know our legislature right now. Is fighting Tony Evers, our governor, every day about legalizing that shit. The Republicans got something to say. And it, it's just weird to me because it kind of mirrors what's going on. Not to say it to, it's to the same extreme, but it's just like how they try to control you. Like, even with the abortion shit. Like, how they doing that? And, I mean, not to go on like a crazy tangent, which it really <laughs> ain't. The white population is declining, right? So now they want to stop abortions. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't a problem when their population wasn't declining, but now that they're becoming the minority, they telling their white girls, like, you can't keep going to abortion clinics killing them babies. We need them babies. You see what I'm saying? Because we losing numbers-wise. You see what shit. I'm saying? So. Bro, uh -huh. why did she tap in all caps? Jack Daniels was created by a slave. True story. I believe that. I believe it, too, but why she type all caps like know. Boss D? Why, oh, like that? why did she yell that, bro? Yeah. All the hate from weed came from white motherfuckers mad that young white motherfuckers was influenced to yeah. kick it with black j jazz musicians. musicians. That's yeah. exactly where it came from. Let me go on and look for some land up north. Yeah. If you ever watch the documentary on Netflix, it's hosted by Fab Five Freddy, and he oh, breaks what? that down. It started First with jazz musicians. Church. Jazz musicians used to smoke marijuana to enlighten them to help with their music. Miles Davis is a yeah, weed uh, head. Uh, Ray Charles yeah. and, uh, Quincy Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so what they did was they felt like that was attracting young white girls to these niggas. So they banned it. You see what I'm saying? And weed white has been like banned. Weed has been banned since then. Young they never fixed like the weed bag. laws or nothing. It be a hard drug. Yeah. Yeah, gateway, gateway drug. Well. And a gateway to niggas too. With that being said, Milwaukee, we gotta take this L. Wisconsin, we are still behind. Yeah. And we need to catch the fuck up. Because Illinois just legalized day weed. Yeah. Recreational and, med and medicinal. Okay. Uh, no, it's been like a three-day process. I've been, I've been following yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't. Oh, no, it's been long because they had medical they, medical marijuana there for like two years. Oh, okay. 
They've been having the medical dispensaries there for like two years. So, yeah. So we 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 getting close. Close. So we got because it's a process. It's a one. Two, Come on, three you able to post process. up meta, mm-hmm. marijuana signs and shit on mm-hmm. your store? Mm-hmm. It's getting close. The gas station selling CBD. You yeah. Know what I mean, so that's how it starts. Hemp. When they now look like, at them overdosing and shit. <laughs> you yelling? Uh. <laughs> Traced it. Uh huh. Hey, uh, did y'all hear the story about the uh, the man who killed his wife and the baby told on him? The baby told the police. The baby told the police. The baby actually told the nurses, and the nurses called the police, and the baby. I got to read that story again to know the exact. I don't want to be up here doing the brief, but I can give y'all the true facts of it. Uh, Cause I know y'all, I know a lot of y'all probably already seen this story, but it's about uh, the man and the woman uh, on uh, Brentwood. Where where is Brentwood? Like Brentwood Place, ain't that a place? Yeah, some shit like that. that. No, it's no, it's, 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 in a, it's in these Rosa weird Bell. little weird yeah little weird ass blocks. Yeah, but um, uh, kids see all he, and know all. I promise you. Yeah, but uh, so anyway, I guess they sense ch- uh signs of abuse or whatever. I don't know how they got to the house or whatever, such and such, because the baby had blood on his pillow or whatever. Mm. You know what I mean? So they take uh the baby to the uh. To the hospital, and he, the man they said, and I quote: "The man said, if you take good care of my baby, you know, at the hospital or whatever." So when the baby got there, the baby, the baby, uh, told the nurse that uh, my daddy hit me with the gun. That's why the baby was bleeding at the head. My daddy hit me with the gun. Hit me with a gun, and he shot my mama. And and I guess the nurse is called a, uh, huh? Yeah. She's related wow. to my baby daddy. Dude hit the baby with a gun and they took him to the hospital. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, so, my, my so he tell, he, he at the hospital, the baby t- at the hospital telling them the story and they call the police. The police go back to the house. They find the, his, the man wife in the house with, I guess, two or three gunshots in her and burnt half to death. Well, burnt halfway up. You know what I'm saying? Half of her is burnt up. Man, what is but um, the nigga, uh, when they did the autopsy or whatever, it came back, and you could tell that she was still alive when he started burning her. So they was like, damn. That's crazy. Shit. Yeah, man. Like yeah. It's off Mill Road. Yeah. That's off Mill Road. Woo. Yeah. Yikes. So that's that's crazy shit. Motherfucker snapped out. He was an older nigga. They said the the chick was younger, right? These the niggas chick. been killing am I, women. Am I, well, did I hear that correctly, y'all, or did the news fumble that? Because that nigga looked at old. Oh, he looked at he looked at late forties, early fifties. You know what I mean? And. I don't like. Letitia, I think I they said the chick was like twenty. I don't know what be wrong with a lot of these niggas. Like rest in peace to my niece. I just came back from. Indiana. She was only twenty six. I just came back from my Indiana because my niece got stabbed to death. Mm-mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Like if I it do. Was a sad story, yo. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing that I just went and dealt with. Shit no yesterday. bullshit, bro. They got mental illnesses, mental issues, bro. For you to snap out and do some shit like that. Hit your baby with the pistol too, then burn. Her. Oh my god, yeah, niggas really beat. Right. Yeah. Oh shit, it's crazy, man. Man, listen, Milwaukee trying to catch up with Jacksonville, Florida for having the craziest motherfuckers in the world here. Is it lead? Is it the lead shit? Man, I don't know. Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> wasn't from here, but he did a lot of shit here and represented. <laughs> he left. De- he left <laughs> demons here too. Right, man. He left a lot of spirits here. Somebody still eating motherfuckers on what? Somebody somewhere. Somebody somewhere eating the motherfucker. Or Pato praying again. The hills have eyes is real. 
Or the Indians is mad at him. Or is that wrong turn? That's wrong turn, ain't it? Wrong, wrong turn. turn. That shit real, man. Bro, what's going on with motherfuckers killing kids and they boyfriend, girlfriend? It's just the drugs or something. I don't know. I don't want that type of love. Me neither. Nah, I'm cool. Yeah. I'm cool on that. <laughs> right. So what's up with this nigga that left his grandma at the car with the casino at the casino? Yeah. The pot so over. the story is, is this dude went to went to Potawatomi and with his grandmother who has dementia in the car with him, right? So so, so did he play roulette? I don't know. Poker. Did, did, poker. Yeah, I think they he said he was poker playing table. poker. Did you know what I'm saying? That takes a long time. You know yeah. what I mean? Poker ain't quick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So did he double down? I don't know. Oh, so right. he left his grandmother in the car, strapped to the seat belt in the car. Right? Yeah. Um, somebody discovered her, I think an employee or some shit, but the thing that grossed me out when I was reading the story was that the, she was in the seat belt so long that it was like in her skin. What? what? That's how tight he had the seat belt on her because she got dementia. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she might wander off probably. That's what that seems like to me because why would you put her in a seat belt that tight? This nigga going to tell the police that he put a diaper on her and left food in the car. That was his they excuse. They said, and checked on her once, once and spent yeah. her fucking, fucking money. money. Yep. How Damn. It was some hours, bro. Like, I, I don't even know the exact amount, but it was a long-ass time. You know what I'm saying? He did use her money, Tamika. Yeah. The power of the PU. What's that? Huh? It's that shooting dude, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, that's crazy though, man. That's some dirty shit. shit. Yeah, that was bogus. That would have been. Yeah, my... yeah that shit. This was like his mama abandoned him, and she raised him. You know, what I mean? ooh, where the uncles at? That's my mama. I'm beating that boy ass. Oh my you god, this man. Like yeah, it was something. It was a hours. long time, bro. That nigga was in heat. <laughs> Ain't no slot machine yep, ever. That's serious. She can't have other family if they left her with a nigga like that. Right. Man. I believe it's a serial killer here with all the people coming up missing. I'm just saying. Why you ain't type, type that in caps? <laughs> I think as you talked about it. That's so messed up. Right. 16 hours. That's fucked up, man. 16 hours to leave your motherfucking grandma in the car. 16 hours to leave anybody, anybody in, in the, the car. car. Never. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Whole family should have been on his ass. Facts. They need to show. Did they show his face on? Yeah, they showed his face. I need to go yeah. see him. I can't. I, if I, I need they to show, know if I know this nigga. They showed his face ASAP, too. You know what I'm saying? But that was just a crazy situation. Dog had the seatbelt so tight on the lady that it was in her skin, my nigga. Dog said that nigga left broken headed to the slammer. Checked on her after 12 hours. Mm -mm. Rest in peace, Malaya Davis. Malaya? Malaya? Yeah, that's the little girl down in Texas. Uh, Oh, shit, that they just talking about the bones? They found Arkansas, right? Yeah, he admitted to it. The stepdad did? Yeah. Because they watched the videotape. But remember when Bree was here? Yeah, remember when Bree was here? Remember when you kept saying that nigga did that shit? Remember? Okay, re, re, okay, refresh me with the story. This the little this the little pretty little light skinned girl. Okay. Who uh daddy claimed he got hit over the head. Okay, and they took the baby and shit. Yeah, okay. Remember me and you out the gate was like, yeah, no, that no, nigga that did happen. that shit. Yeah, so it came it started coming out over time. You know, the clues. Then they had a video where, you know, they lived in like one of them apartment complexes, and you know they be having cameras outside your building. I mean your apartment. So a part of the camera showed him enter. The house with the baby, but she never came back out that month. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Next time he came out, he came out with a bag. Yeah. You feel me? So that had him cooked already. And then I think once that started, the pressure started mounting on the nigga. He just started admitting to the shit over time. Her real, her yeah. really, daddy a mob. Uh-uh. Homeboy, what, 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 what the real daddy do? I don't know. What what happened? Chandra, Chandra, you got to put us on to that. I ain't seen nothing about the biological. And, and what's Rat Man and Chopper uh, uh, crown? I don't know what that is. Chopper. 
Or is that Chopper? That's Chopper. Choo choo the dirty man. See for leaving the baby with him. Okay, we're gonna step daddy and real daddy went to the house to see her. So said so real daddy went to go see her and then she wasn't there. And she wasn't there. Okay. Where was the mama? I don't know. I think they said the mama was at work, right? That's a little dark behind us. Oh what the blind head kid with the uh in the background. And the nigga said no. Oh. A real dad ain't in the picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dirk uh Dirk in jail for attempted murder and possession of a felon with a possession of a firearm. For a shooting that happened in Atlanta. I think most had something to do with it. Wow. Them niggas who robbed the old lady off Capitol. Damn, she was out of town. Jesus, that's just. Uh, I just said a lot of stories. What? Where stepdads Dads is, yeah, the kids is doing crazy shit like that. Hold on. She left her baby with the stepdaddy daddy, yeah. and went out of town, town with the daddy. No. No. Oh. Just went out of town. So while she was out of town, I guess the real daddy came by the house, asked where the baby at, and dude was like, she ain't here or something, and he left. That's what y'all saying, right? That's why they call him the real daddy of Maul. You feel me? Oh, shit. I don't know these kids. That's fucked up with the big cheese, too. What big cheese? They said King whoever from the BD snitching. So King Von <laughs> is supposed to be snitching? Is that because we figured this had no, something to do with FBG now? They said King whoever from the BD snitching. Oh, okay. That's fucked up with big cheese, too. I don't know these kids, the girl, oh, mind you. He already had a case for abusing the same little girl. Damn. Yep. Yep. She, they showed pictures of her with like a black eye in the hospital or something. How old was this little kid? Man, like little. She was under, she, yeah, she was like under six for sure. She was a little kid. That's why I don't play that shit. I ain't leaving my baby nobody. Man, I told you. Mm-mm. Bro, I used to be out with Chase and the motherfucking carrier. That you, to my baby that, able to carry concealed, on, I ain't leaving her with nobody. You know I mean? the, the thing that you put on like this, I used to be on the block with the guys with Chase and that motherfucker like, this me, I'm on bed, I'm keeping this one, ain't no daycare, what? none of that, this me, I got this. Shit, she going where I go. You know what I'm saying? She right now, I'm going to look right in this carrier. She was out of town, that's a crazy story. She broke up with the nigga while she was out of town? And he got her baby? Bitch, you tripping. But see that, and when you think about it, that's almost the same scenario as what happened with a uh, homie here, an old girl. With the one nigga in Stank and the baby, an old girl. Remember, he had the baby. Old girl pretty much was cutting it off with dude and was meeting him to meet the baby. And next B thing you knew, be she dead, was dead. Too. And the baby was dead too. Who had to have brain surgery? The little girl. She had to have brain surgery before? I guess from him hitting her. Yeah, right. Mm. And they left him with her? Oh, I'm sorry, I'd never do it again. Uh, mama killed that baby. The mama killed that baby by giving that baby to do. He, she the said, mama killed that baby. She said she caught him sending dick pics to another nigga. She said she caught him texting a man. That's what Shonda and Tamika said. I ain't Yikes. leaving my baby with nobody. She said... She said she caught him texting a man. What the fuck? Ooh, not swipe. Damn. You know Rich down there in Texas. He said he heard that too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's crazy. Maybe he, he killed the wrong person, though. He should have killed her. Yeah, she yeah. didn't want to know he, he said the dick pics. The baby don't know. The baby can't expose you, bitch. She can't. Ah. Uh. But the mama yeah, killed. Yeah, that was the, the story killed, I was hearing at first that too. That at she first wanted, he wanted saying to he get was married or something. She didn't, she didn't marry and he was mad or some shit. I wish they quit calling him stepdaddy. They wasn't married. Facts. Yeah, nigga, she got around her baby. Yeah, I know plenty of bitches dropping their baby off to whoever. Yeah. 
Somebody yeah. said that? Oh, no, I'm just no, saying. I'm saying. I do too. I know plenty of bitches that just, just to get out yeah. and about, they dropping their baby off to whoever. For real. You punk. I'm just saying, Chanel. I think she had something to do with it because she's so emotionalist about it. Psh, man, I don't know. It's so hard to read people nowadays, bro. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> you know, I don't know. But it, it, we keep hearing these scenarios and seeing these scenarios where these niggas be salty. If it's their own kid or if it ain't their kid. You know what I'm Type saying? Shit. And they taking out their anger on, these, on the children and shit. And that shit is crazy as fuck. She had one job. Right. <laughs> the baby was missing days before the vacay. But how the fuck she go out on vacay? That shit canceled. Cancel. Yeah. My baby missing and I went on vacation? What the fuck? The baby was missing days before the vacay and you still left out of town, bitch. You knew. Yeah, you had one you job, knew. bitch. You knew. Kid, that's it. For fucking teenager. She ain't laid up in no nigga room. Fucking. Oh, they some shit. She's looking very suspect, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, we. If that's the case, that shit was premeditated. Man, yeah, that's... for her to be out of town when it happened. That's all I'm saying. Like, that's 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 a weird ass predicament right there. Like, you is not. Nobody in their right mind is leaving out of town with their baby coming up missing. I ain't going. This shit canceled. Yeah. That's top priority. Top top. So I said mental health my eyes. That bitch weak as fuck. <laughs> no bullshit, Cap. Both, Both suspects. suspects. Facts. I mean, it's just weird, man. Like, the whole protecting children and women thing is, like, went completely out the window. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird, man. Like. It ain't just about being a parent. You a protector, too. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at it like how animals treat shit. Your door for fucking with their kids. Like, you hear them scratching at your mom's ears. <clears throat> Before you get to buying shit and being their friend and all that shit, your first fucking job is to protect this kid. Feed it and make sure it's straight. And people, y'all had to protect to this egg. Y'all bring the egg back broke. That means y'all fucked up as parents. Like... Hey. Been there for a month. The lawn people came and the trash people. Like, how the hell y'all just leave some shit not knowing what it was? Uh. I don't remember how to love their kids. Park 30s is a hell of a drug. Damn. Whoever busted his head should have murked his ass. Damn. Crazy. But like I said, that's the same scenario with the Robinson baby story. That the man 50 Cent say. I'm gonna fuck out the old dude album. Make sure everybody know that his artist got the number one rap, I mean R and B album in the country. I heard buzzing. They got around with you. <laughs> fuck around with you. Yeah, he been locked up for a minute. Oh, niggas man. broke in his house, hate hey, ass niggas. So Timmy next to Fifty man, and Fifty got a big nose, right? Yeah. But next to Ro Timmy, that motherfucker looked like a white woman's nose. Dog put up a picture of, picture of Ro Timmy and was like, I just want to punch this nigga in his nose. Dog, that nigga thousand. nose that is huge, bitch. dog. He is a real black man. <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't got no cut on him, bro. He just likes getting it, bro. He ain't got no cut on him. That nose is right down the motherfucking I mean, I always used to be watching Power. Of, like, this nigga Dre got a beat. He got Zulu in his blood, my nigga. This nigga got a beak. Rotimi or whatever. Dre, his name. Dre. What the fuck is his name on power? Ro, ro, uh, Dre, right? Dre. Yeah. Rotimi. He's humongous. I guess that explains why 50 ain't killed him off the show because he signed to his label. So. Yeah, that nigga knows. Huge, bro. I was looking at that motherfucker like, damn. Man, whatever that motherfucker is, his nose is definitely for the culture. <laughs> Wherever he from, he is representing. They like we love Rotimi. The Man. nose is from the islands. <laughs> it's an island nose. Poke nose. <laughs> <laughs> Poke nose. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga nose look like Mike Tyson boxing gloves. <laughs> Them black ass gloves, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson back boxed in black gloves, black trunks, black uh, uh, 
shoes. He ain't have no he style about his, his face shit. like a mask. Is his music good? Oh shit. Me neither. I haven't checked into his music because as far as I'm gonna be back. Snowfall will be back. So what's his allegations? Um, Bro, let's just say he can't keep his hands to himself, man. He touched he, he, a lot of sexual harassment allegations Damn. against him, and that's what with them he was for to be on a Netflix special. Something else, but man, they fucked up. To see niggas get knocked like that in middle school. How oh, you going to jail? <laughs> you Straight definitely up, they definitely putting too. your ass out to school. To your co-host, I go by the name of Sport Rotten, and that nigga right there go by the name of Jr. Scales. And July, hopefully by the four if she wants to, when the fireworks and shit. Any past episodes. That red tab on our Smoking Gossip YouTube channel. Please click it and subscribe to catch up on any past episodes. We will see y'all on Monday.